Hi and welcome, I'm Susie and today I'm going to show you how to make goulash. Some of our ingredients that we need to make our goulash, we have some elbow macaroni, some ground beef, half a cup of yellow onion, salt, pepper, oregano, garlic powder, tomato paste and parm cheese. Now over here I have some parsley flakes, some butter and some mozzarella cheese and we're going to make some garlic bread to go with it. Now in this skillet I have a half a teaspoon of olive oil and in this pan I have one teaspoon of olive oil and I'm getting that ready to cook our pasta. So in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and add my ground beef and we're going to cook this until it's brown and I'm going to add some onion as well. So I'm going to add some salt and pepper and we're going to stir this around. Now in this pan I just added two cups of our elbow macaroni and we're going to let that cook according to the package directions. Now before I forget I want to add some salt to our macaroni water, at least a quarter of a teaspoon. Our ground beef is now done, I'm going to drain the fat and then I'm going to show you the next step. Now that I've drained the fat from our ground beef, I'm going to add a whole can and this is a six ounce can of tomato paste. Our macaroni is almost done. Now I'm going to shake on some garlic powder, just a little bit. That's not enough for a measurement and some oregano. We're going to add a little bit more salt. And let's check on our macaroni. Yep, it looks like it's done. I'm going to drain that and I'll show you the next step. Now you'll see here that I went ahead and mixed up the tomato paste in my hamburger. I drained my pasta and I'm going to add my pasta to my hamburger right now. one pound of hamburger or ground chuck to two cups of macaroni is, a, is the right mixture for this. We want to make sure that our macaroni is coated with the tomato sauce. Now I do not have the stove on at this point. Now what I did here is I reserved some of the pasta water that I made with the when I drain the macaroni and that keeps this moist so it doesn't dry out. You want to taste it now for seasonings, for salt, pepper, even the garlic and oregano. Um, it'll be fine if you add more at this stage. Now we're not going to cook this anymore. You can reheat it later. You can make this earlier in the day and reheat it if you need to. But right now we're going to make our garlic bread. So I have a loaf of French bread here. And we're just going to go ahead and slice this. Put it on a tray. This is probably one of the fastest weeknight meals I think I've ever made. It's very budget friendly. It tastes great and it's easy to make. Now I have some butter melted here and I'm just going to add some parsley flakes in there some salt, some pepper. Let's get our garlic powder. Now I put in about a tablespoon of garlic powder. If you don't like that much, don't put so much in. And let's just put it on our bread. Make sure we keep stirring this butter mixture as we go because sometimes the garlic powder likes to settle at the bottom. Let's make sure we got plenty on our bread. We want all that full flavor. Now that we have all the garlic mixture on our bread, we're going to go ahead and put some mozzarella cheese. This is optional, you don't have to do it. But I like it, it tastes good. Just a little bit. Now that we have our cheese on our garlic bread, we're going to cook this for about 12 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Our garlic bread is done and out of the oven, so let me show you how I'm going to put this together. Here is our goulash. Now I just put cheese on the top with a little bit of basil on the side 
and I'm gonna serve it with our garlic bread and some little pepperdew peppers. So if you like this recipe, just subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video.